YouTube, this is GeForce from Bioside Gaming. Have you been spreading managed democracy across the galaxy by rearranging a Bio Titan's face with an Exosuit rocket? By now you're at least level 10 or beyond. You're pushing for level 20 stratagems. Here's a quick control review. See my beginner and intermediate guides. You want to change your key bindings to allow you to quickly switch weapons, throw grenades, and use stims, as well as call in stratagems while under duress. This will transform the game for you. Use the power of macros to call in your stratagems. Match the armor to the mission. If you're going solo or want to avoid prolonged engagements, use light scout armor like the SC-34 Infiltrator or the SC-30 Trailblazer Scout. These armors will reduce the range at which enemies can detect you by 30% and markers placed on the map will scan every 2 seconds. If you're going against automatons, you use a light or medium servo-assisted armor. This is useful for throwing in stratagems from a distance like eagle strikes or orbital precision strikes and avoiding detection. If you're looking to close a lot of bug holes or fabricators and tend to kite enemies around the map, the engineering kit allows you to carry six grenades. If you take a lot of automaton hits, switch up to the medium armor. I recommend the DP-40 Hero of the Federation armor or the Super Citizen armor if you purchase the DLC. It gives you a 50% chance not to die when receiving lethal damage. Weapons. The SG-8 Punisher and SG-8S Slugger got huge damage buffs. The SG-8S Slugger fires slugs and is good at taking out medium targets. Pair either of these shotguns with a P-19 Redeemer that will melt light enemies. Also, the impact grenade is an S-tier among grenades for taking out hordes following you and stunning larger enemies. The DMRs, like the R-63 Diligence and the R-63CS Diligence Counter Sniper, are pretty weak with small mags and are not good at crowd control. The SMG-37 Defender submachine gun is not too bad but has a slower than expected fire rate of 520. Good for one-handed use, so you can use it to shoot behind you while being chased. The AR-23P Liberator Penetrator is not too bad with its medium armor penetrating capability. It fires in semi-auto and bursts. Unfortunately, it causes less damage than the other Liberator variants. I would say that this is a situational weapon at best if you don't like shotguns. The Scythe laser weapon is not very effective, against either terminids or automatons, so does hard pass. The JAR-5 Dominator should be a good choice. Unfortunately, its slow fire rate and aim lag make it less useful than other weapons, and its cost is quite high, so save your medals. The PLAS-1 Scorcher is good against automatons, but not so great against terminids, and can kill you due to its explosive plasma round being fired very close to the enemy. The Breaker Shotguns are a good choice. The regular SG-225 Breaker is still good against both races. The SG-225 IE Breaker Incendiary is good against the Terminants, especially for crowd control, but not as good against automatons. The SG-225 SP Breaker Spray and Prey was buffed, but is at best okay, so the previous two Breaker shotguns are a better choice. Tertiary Stratagems. Again, see the intermediate guide for secondary stratagems. These following stratagems are less useful and at best situational. The anti-material rifle. Good for sniping enemies, but you won't have a lot of time to snipe as the more time you spend on the map, the more enemies spawn. This limits your quiet time to give some bugs or bots a dirt nap. The stalwart machine gun has a faster reload on the move but causes less damage. This one is up to your personal preference when it comes to this or the machine gun. The spear is very powerful, but has trouble locking onto targets. If the target is too close, you can shoot over the target and miss. It is very satisfying if you lock on and kill a tank, hulk, charger, or bile titan. The orbital 380mm HE barrage is still not great and can kill you and your teammates while missing some of the enemies. The orbital walking barrage is a better option, but still situational as it can allow you to advance behind the shells. The Eagle Cluster Bomb and Napalm Strikes are great to watch but are good at killing your own teammates. Communicate with your team by letting them know exactly where you threw the airstrike. The Jump Pack is not very useful. It can help you 
gain distance from the terminids, but the automatons will shoot you out of the air. The Eagle 500kg bomb is great to watch but has a small area of effect. The 110mm rocket pods may be more effective. The HMG emplacement can be useful for covering a point or extract, but a sentry might be a better option. The shield generator relay is situational. You can shoot out of it, but enemies can walk in. It has a short duration rate which limits its effectiveness. The Tesla tower is dangerous to your teammates and can be taken out by chargers. Not great against the automatons, and they can shoot it and take it out. Minefields are situational, like covering a direction when defending the extract, but make it dangerous for your teammates to maneuver around. The guard dog is not as good as the guard dog rover, as it runs out of ammo quickly, but is slightly more effective against automatons. The rocket sentry may be the worst sentry, as it doesn't target enemies very well. Eagle smoke strike can help you break contact with the enemy, but it may be better to bring a smoke grenade and save the stratagem slot for something more useful. The EMS mortar sentry is great for defending an area by slowing down enemies so they can receive the gift of freedom from above. It will not kill your teammates. The Patriot exosuit is useful for defending the extra or civilian evacuation. Its rockets can kill chargers and bile titans, while the Gatling gun will take out small to medium targets. It has limited ammo and cannot take much damage. Think of it as a glass cannon. The orbital EMS strike is very good at slowing down the enemies so they can receive a dose of democracy via airstrike, orbital strike, and all other tools of liberty. The orbital gas strike is good at taking out large clusters of enemies, but some will come out of the gas unaffected, so be ready to deal some managed democracy to the survivors. Ship module upgrades level two. See the intermediate guide for level one upgrade. Ship upgrades will depend on which stratagems you use most frequently. Each category has three levels of upgrades. The third upgrade is usually the most expensive in samples required. If you use a lot of support weapons and backpacks, you will want to complete the Patriotic Administration Center. I don't use a lot of orbital cannons, but if you do want to focus on that group of the ship module. I upgraded the hangar modules first as I use a lot of Eagle Strikes. They can rearm faster and have more uses with a shorter cooldown than other or orbital strikes. If you are big on sentries, you need to get the synthetic supplementation first, then dynamic tracking and shock absorption gel to give your sentries more ammo and reduce cooldown times. In my opinion, the last category in engineering bay and robotics workshop should be saved for the very end as they do not provide a significant advantage for the cost of your samples. Advanced tactics. Use sentries to cover your retreat. You can also use them as a decoy to draw enemies away from the objective you are trying to complete. I mentioned this in the beginner's guide, but use terrain to your advantage. Run over the smoke pods on the map to create an instant smoke screen to help break sight of your enemies. If you are in a full squad, split up to cover more ground and take care of objectives. If you don't feel confident going alone, pair up and take out the main objectives and complete the secondary objectives as you find them. Unless you are doing a blitz, which you may not have enough time to complete the secondary objectives. Bring in weapons for your team once they've cooled down. This can save someone on your team a stratagem slot while supplying them with a support weapon once the cooldown has been reached. Remember, you are all in this mission together. If you have a whole menagerie chasing you down, do not run toward a teammate trying to complete the objective. You are helping them by taking the heat off of them and allowing them to finish the task. <laughs> this means you, Cod. The guard dog rover and auto cannon pairing can be very useful in taking out larger targets while not being prone to the smaller ones. Destroy bugs that are trying to call in a breach or commissars with the automatons before they shoot off the flare. You will use less ammo if you kill them before they can call in reinforcements. Avoid engagements if possible, especially on level 6 or higher. This will keep you out of the reinforcement loop. Try to take out enemies quickly if you need to destroy a nest or base. Use strikes to take them out so you do not have to engage them in prolonged firefights. When you bring in reinforcements, ask the teammate if they want to be safe or sorry so you know which direction to throw the marker. Sorry is high risk, high reward, as they try to land on the marked Bile Titan, Charger, Tank, or Hulk. If they hit it, great. But they still may end up landing in the middle of a swarm of enemies. 
make sure you have some clearing stratagems at extract. You will encounter a lot of enemies, especially at levels 5 and up, so be prepared to use the Eagle Airstrike or Orbital Laser to take out enemies closing down on your position. The exosuits are very good for this as well. If you are running out of time before your destroyers leave orbit, call in everything you can so you have resources to deal with the hordes that will come to the extract. You can see multiple Bile Titans and Chargers, so setting up a defensive perimeter is important. If you lose the perimeter, drop an area clearing stratagem on the extract. Drop the samples at the extract off center of the landing area. If you have to, you can pick them up as you dive into the pelican. You can designate one teammate as a carrier of samples to hide near the extract and run in with 10 to 20 seconds remaining. They need to have something to defend themselves, but only if detected. I hope these tips help you spread managed democracy and liberty to the galaxy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, comment below on future videos you would like to see, or if you have any additional tips for newer cadets. This is GeForce for BioSide Gaming, and I will see you in the next video. For Democracy!